Hey guys, I'm Professional Bohemian. I'm an illustrator, oil painter, and Twitch streamer. You're about to watch a section of one of my streams where I create this image right here. Um, do stick around, watch um, subsequent videos, or navigate through the channel and see if there's anything else you like. Drop a subscribe, like, comment, um, check out my work on Instagram, and join me live on twitch.tv forward slash Professional Bohemian with me and my community and have some fun. Enjoy the video, guys. How are you doing, by the way, guys? We're in that, we've hit that two hour mark. Just want to say a big, 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 massive thank you to King Dixon Balls, to Agus Sebs, to Bleached Blonde, Danny Yimbo, all for those follows today, the uh, Von Radio for the Raid, and KNDY, the mighty KNDY, for gifting a sub to Banana Bread. Dude. Dude, I'm just saying. MVP tonight. I think Candy is deserving of having a few extra points. I don't know. But I'm feeling I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like KND needs extra points. I think I'm gonna add extra points to Candy. Fuck it. It's my my good damn stream. I could do what I want to. Points. Add. At. Probably not even here anymore, are they? Can oh they of course they are. They can. Do you worry? KNDY is never going to know that I've given them points, but a thousand points to KNDY for just being awesome. That's where, when they when they come back to the stream, they'll be like, oh, I've got like 2,000 points, where'd they come from? No idea, maybe it's because he's so awesome. Okay. I am like that. Nana, golden god. Okay, I'm off to bed. Got an early day tomorrow. No worries, Nana. Thank you. It's so awesome to see you again. Do that. Give me what I need. Is grey a thing in watercolour? I feel like grey probably isn't a thing, right? You just have to do light black. Not sure. Cannot entend me. Is grey pintas in grease in watercolour? No sé, hay gris? No, not in this set. Oh, so, no, no, no. Oh, negro y lo mezclas con mucho... Blanco. No, con agua. I don't know. I don't know, because I don't do watercolor. So I don't know. See you later, Nana. Thanks for rolling up. Don't forget, we've got a subscriber on the stream tomorrow, so it'd be awesome if you came by. Now you can, you know what I mean? It's about the power of being a sub, you know? Infinite cosmic power! Itty bitty living space. Dumped 40k points in my main. Good for you, Con. That's the way. That's the way, dude. Glorious purpose. Oh, Nana, we didn't even talk about the Loki series. Pending, man. Pending. Burdened by glorious purpose. did seem to me, I don't know if you guys saw the look, it, no spoilers, so don't worry. It did seem to me like, what's his name? Tom Hiddleston was kind of phoning it in a little bit. I mean, he's, don't get me wrong, he's great. He's great as Loki, but he was phoning it in a bit. Can mods attend the sub-only stream? Of course, Con. Mods and VIPs.
Now you're asking, who's a VIP on the channel? No one. No one. <laughs> Sorry. I wonder if I've got a grey watercolour paint in my collection over there. The most grey watercolour paint must be a thing, wasn't it? I'm worried that if I just go with water, like a diluted black, that I'm not going to be able to achieve the same tone because I'm not so skilled with watercolour paints, you know? Are those the watercolours there? No. It's official. Grey watercolour paint is not a thing. No. All right. Well, let's um, let's do it. Okay. Let's use a bit of this clean water right here. I like Loki's Big Bad. Yeah, me too, man. Me too, a lot. The Loki series was a little too silly for me. Yeah, because if you like the Loki series, then there are better other series to watch, like Doctor Who, you know what I mean? I hear what you're saying there. Lady Bo should be. Lady Bo should be what? I don't understand. Did you notice how many times him and Sylvie looked at the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As if they knew they were being watched. What did I miss? Maybe que debería estar en el stream. I don't know. You're a sub. Yeah, pero tengo en teoría clase. Ah, claro. Yeah, she's got a class. Yeah, Lady Bo. Lady Bo will be there. I mean, maybe, it, oh, that's not even black, baby, I'm rubbish. That's good, it? It's like a purple. I wonder if I don't have black. Black is this. Would you pass me? I don't know that now. No, I'm going to use these water colours, right? Yeah, but that's got something else. <laughs> Ivory black, here we go. Ooh, okay, now I need to go night night and see you later. Uh, Lady Bo should be a VIP. Ah, well, she's a mod. She doesn't need to be a VIP. I'm not a mod. Not a mod. Um, uh, a sub. You're not going to be a VIP. Otherwise, she'll stop subscribing to me. I need those, those two fifty, two cents, two and a half euros. I need them. I need them for my ego. <laughs> I could make you a, a VIP if you wanted, baby. I asked. I asked. Devuelve me las lentejas que te echo. No, the hey, mine oh. now. Eh? The mine now. Yeah. <laughs> I did ask Lady Boy if she wanted to be a mod, and she said no. Am I am I right, Lady Boy? I said, Con and James are doing their job. They're doing well. a great job. True story. I can't speak anymore. I love the Loki series. I've been loving all of the series so far. Yeah, dude, I'm really digging um, uh, What If. Um, uh, that's part of the genius of it, though. Loki can break the fourth wall. He's also the god of mischief and trickery, so it's always going to have a fun strain... Uh, have been a fun strain TV show. Yeah, no, 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 dude. I enjoyed it. But I did feel like Hiddleston was fun in it in a little bit. 
thing is, like when Hiddleston forms it in, he's still like way better than the majority of other actors. Right? Um, it'd be fun to give bring back game night even if it's once every two months. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that was kind of the beginning of the end of the original channel before we rebooted it. And I'm with you, Con. I loved it too. I loved game night. It was maybe the easiest content I ever did. And plus the, the the community there on that one game on Warzone. Brilliant. But then what happened? Little little insight for you. If you're thinking about streaming or you've streamed or you want to do a variety channel. What I perceived happening, right, was that the games people were always a little let down when I started, when they tuned in and I was arting. And the art people were always a little let down when they tuned in and I was gaming. The last thing you want to do when people tune in is give them like, oh, that's not what I want to watch. I don't know if that, um, uh, I don't know if that makes any sense. And that might not even be true, but that was something certainly that I perceived. I remember once reading it in the chat. Oh, are you playing games tonight? Never mind. I was like, oh, damn. I mean, I know there are a bunch of streamers that pull it off. They manage to do it. Like, Sanuka does a great variety. He's a great variety streamer. Also, it didn't help, Con, that me and you were literally the worst at that game. Twitch wisdom, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, every art streamer says, ah, people tune in for the personality, not for the art. And whether there is a certain amount of truth to that, I'm sure you guys would still be quite happy if I was just sat here just talking instead of painting. But you've come to expect that I do art, right? Like. It's very similar, like streaming to me. For those of you who don't know, my day job is I manage a radio station. And I think streaming is about as close as you can get in, in new media to, to radio, traditional radio. That's why certain things are massively important as a streamer. Number one is that you've got a schedule and you stick to it. Because a streaming is habit forming just like the radio. You tune in, in your car or wherever you are every day and you want to hear your person doing that thing that you love. And you're always a little bit let down when they're not doing that. Does that make any sense? I remember messing around while Hardcore Warzone people played. Yeah, dude, we were, we used to get, we used to get annihilated, man. I don't know, we won a few games, I seem to remember, but always when we were partnered with other people. <laughs> Whatever, dude. We enjoyed it. That's, that's what counts. So yeah, and I, I when I'm when I'm thinking about my stream, developing it, doing new things and whatnot, I always keep, try and keep that in mind that like people are tuning in. I'm an art streamer, and they're tuning in, even if not a hundred percent, to watch me art. That's what they're expecting.
And because it's not a movie, you're not looking for something to subvert your expectations. You're looking for, you know, to listen to your buddy Rob, you know, chat away while he's working on a painting. Um, that's hard for me to get because I don't really have habits like that. Makes perfect sense. Can't remember the last time I've missed Popmaster. <laughs> Well, you'd be surprised how how similar, Pony. You'd be surprised how similar um, uh, people who tune into streams and people who uh, like hardcore radio listeners, whether that be taxi drivers or people who are just into the radio, how similar the the patterns of behaviour are. In every way. In every way, even in the way they react towards ads, you'll notice that I never roll ads when I go on a break. You know, the, the, the two reasons people are most likely to tune out of the radio, number one is bad sound quality, obviously. And number two is a commercial break, any commercial break. <laughs> so I never roll um, ads. But Variety got us other people like Min who wouldn't have tuned in, that's true, that's true. But we did lose a bunch though, Con, remember? We were having a blast, but we lost a ton of people. But Ladybo and I have spoken about buying a new PC for the living room and doing a channel for gaming, right, baby? Talk, baby. Yes. <laughs> we did. Because I'm not against the idea, dude. And we, and Ladybo and I play a lot of video games. Well, we used to, we don't so much now. Now the computer's in the in the um, studio. Do you miss playing games, Lady Mo? Yes. Yeah, me too, man. The new Subnautica's been out for ages. Yeah, and we haven't played it yet. I know. Um, I'm sporadic. I'm a sporadic, spontaneous kind of person. That's good perspective to be aware of it in others. Yeah, totally, man. And if you're if you're looking to keep on um, start streaming and whatnot, it's why game streamers pay so so in such insane attention to their numbers when they're playing new games. Like uh, big streamers, massive streamers, like Northern Lion, right? I don't know if you guys know Northern Lion or not. He's, um, he got big playing um, Binding of Isaac. Now, Binding of Isaac, when did that game come out? Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac came out in 2011, 10 years ago, right? And he still plays it on his channel because it is, the, it is his garret. It is basically, he said this on, on a few of his streams and a few of his um, uploads. It's where he gets the majority of his income. <laughs> and people know him playing Binding of Isaac. The guy's been playing it for 10 years. But he has an habitual audience that want to tune in and they want to watch Binding of Isaac. It was upon hearing that where I started like really investigating streams and their similarities to traditional media. Um, do it, it would be great. Could play games and include um, the community bit. Dude, that's exactly it. That's exactly what we want to do. 2011-ish, thanks James. Like Minecraft has never died. Yeah, Minecraft, um, uh, Let's players still will play Minecraft. You know what I mean? It's a perfect example. They've got a core audience that want to watch them doing that one thing. And they recognize because of trial and error. Like another great streamer, Mr. Samuel Streamer, used to be Roll, D, Roll 1D2 Gaming. Um, I had, love, he's a video game lover. And he became famous, um, well, became famous, got, got his notoriety playing um, RimWorld. And he had to open a second channel to play other games because whenever he played another game on his original channel, he lost. 
he lost it in common viewers you would be surprised for a modern medium how fickle a stream audience is it's habit forming habit forming All right, guys, I'm going to take a very short break. Lady Bill and I. Yeah? Okay. I'm going to smoke a ciggy. Guys, don't go anywhere. We're going to... Um, wow, the psychology of it. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep on talking about this when I get back, if you guys are interested. All right, then, guys. See you in five minutes. Don't go anywhere. Hey, look at you. You made it to the midpoint in the video. Good for you. Um, at this point, I'm going to remind you, you should probably subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so, or jump into twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian and join me on my next stream. On with the show. Digging the way it's looking, I'll be honest. I've got to go over the, uh, bit of the line work. I think we're just going to call it the, the robot. I kind of like the way it looks, man. I don't think the background needs any more, I'll be honest. Now it's still an illustration, but the the main theme, the main character there is is destacado. I would say it's highlighted with colour. Um, I've had a pint. Might have another. Go for it, sir. Oh, baby, we've got we've got beers. Mm-hmm. Should we have a beer? Okay. Last half hour of the program. I mean, a fizzy good. Should we have a fizzy good for the last half hour of the program? I'm watching and have a brilliant time, but I'm lurking because I'm busy working on my first original digital piece. Congratulations, man. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see that. A little bit of fizzy good. Having a great time tonight, guys. Thank you so much for rolling up. If you've never been here before, I'm a professional bohemian. I'm an illustrator and oil painter. If you want to keep up with this and uh, future progress projects, we're going to be starting um, an oil painting very soon. Don't be afraid of that follow button, yo. Don't be afraid of it. Caress it. Let's crack this cold kind of fizzy good. There she blows. <laughs> Sounds delicious. What's up, Ringo Dingo? He's such a sweetheart, man. He's such a sweetheart. He's got these big doe eyes, and he looks at you like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm so naughty. I just don't understand. In it, little man. In it, little man. Oh, hey, chief. He's such a good boy. He's trying so hard to be a good boy. He just doesn't have it inside him. <laughs> He's a cute. He's going to get bigger, though, eh? He's like five and a half months, six months now. He's got at least... I, mean, I think they stopped growing at one, dogs. Is that an excuse to have a bottle? Of course. Really like the yellow too, thank you, Don Ray. Is cider as much of a thing in Spain? Dude, a cider, believe it or not, is massive in Spain. Yes, cider. Um, cidra. Ah, yeah, yeah. Cidra is massive in Spain, but it's very different to, to what we know as cider in, um, in the UK. Spanish cider is... Um, doesn't have bubbles, right? It's not um, an effervescent drink, I would say that. It's not a... Um, well, no, it's not a bubbly drink. It's flat. Thank you, James. Jeez. Cheers, big ears. Cheers, guys. Clank. Um, so they have this really special way of pouring it, where you pour it from a really big distance into a, into a glass, and that aerates the cider. And uh, rather than being like, like a pub drink or like the the drink that I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I mean, I drank the majority of the cider I drank was when I was underage. <laughs> a bottle of White Lightning before I went out, so I didn't spend any money. Here, cider is like actually quite revered. It's quite a nice drink. They'll comment on the quality as you would a, a wine or a an IPA beer mm -hmm. uh, from Asturias. 
Yeah, yeah, very, it's, yeah, the cider here is from Asturias, region in the north of Spain. Agus, cider from the north of Spain is awesome. Yes, it is. What's up, Agus? Welcome to the stream, an English language warrior joining me. Dig it, man. Thank you for being here. Um, I had some great Spanish cider with the fox on the label. Can't remember what it's called. No, me neither, dude. Um, well, I'm sure it's, yeah, I'm sure it was really, really good. Spanish cider, it's one of the things that most people don't know about Spain, but the cider here is, is tremendous. And what you said, se llama canciar. Como? Canciar. 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 Oh, canciar. Cheers, Agus. Cheers to you, sir. Clank. Escanciar. Escanciar. It's amazing to watch the people who are really good at it just pour it from a massive height into, into the glass. It's amazing, man. It's quite a sight. What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way. I will not surrender. I will do my best until I get put under. What if I go stronger? Um, if you get really local craft cider here, it's quite um, quite a lot of it is flat. It's wonderful, dude. Exactly the same as over here, then. Um, dude, next time you're in Spain, um, you need to be l looking up Lady Bo and I. Let's get that right. So yeah, for the third year in a row, I covered the the Madrid book fair today. <laughs> Dude, it was so sad. There were so few people there, man. Has ido alguna vez, Lady Paul? A la feria del libro. Sí. Yes. Ah, cool. Every year. The primos acercarnos el sábado. We should go down there on Saturday. I'd love to. If we go at 2.30, we can bump into Richard, Alberto, and Kyle. Oh, why? Así conozco a Alberto. Yeah, yeah. Alberto is the only one of my friends that Ladybo hasn't met yet. I go every year. Oh, really? Mm. Oh. I'll def definitely give you a heads up, dude. Make sure you do. Ladron de Manzanas is the one that I'm thinking of. Oh. Oh, Ladron de Manzanas, Apple Thief. <laughs> I love it. Um, I've been to uh, Barça, so who knows where next time. Hopefully the other side. Ooh, come to the middle, man. Come and see us in Madrid. I love Barcelona. Um, South Africa Survivor finale dropped. Oh, dude. Mm. We haven't seen it yet, South African Survivor. We should. We should, yeah. I've heard the, the, the last season was uh, was really good. The accent it is so difficult for me. I think, but I remember the Australian accent was super difficult for you, Lady Bo. At the beginning. At the beginning. Hmm. I think you get used to it. Oh, maybe. I want to watch it. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm really curious. Have you, have you been watching it, Con? Tell you what, McDonald's in Spain is awesome. Booze with your meal deal. And you can have that tomato bruschetta for breakfast, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Dude, go to the cinema and order a beer in Spain. <laughs> that for me is one of the most beautiful things about Spain is the, the, the Spanish relationship with alcohol. It's so much more healthier than Okay, not than England. I'm not going to tar everyone with the same brush. Than what I'm used to, or the way I, the relationship I came to have with with alcohol in England. Or the idea that we have about English people. Sadly, sweetheart, a lot of uh, we we've earned that reputation. You know what I mean? <laughs> in Mallorca, Magaluf. Yeah, yeah, in the coast. 
Yeah, no, I like the relationship Spanish people have with alcohol is tremendous, man. Thick accents are hard. Yeah, yeah, totally. Especially if, if it's his second language. Like, it took me ages to be able to understand people from the south of Spain. Because they, um, well, basically, because they do what I do when I speak English. I, I eat the end of the words and, you know, makes it really hard to understand me when I'm speaking. When I'm speaking to other people from Yorkshire or whatnot. It's one of those things you're never really conscious of until you've moved and live in another country. I love Spain, man. My, like, hopefully I'll grow old and die here. That's my, that's my idea. Guys, I wish you weren't seeing these colors so... Es que parecen morado los colors, Sí, man. they look different. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on, on the guy there. And I'm going to try and see if I can get really quickly the colors a little bit matched. No, I just can't, I can't <laughs> quite get it. Bueno, we'll figure it out before we start painting. Usually when I'm painting, I can get the colors bang on. Um, if, um, lovely paints, Rob, I recommend work from a nice friend of mine, Alberto Mi Miel Mielgo. Then I'll send you more info. Thank you, please do. Please do, on my Instagram, send me a message on Instagram in Agos. Arroba Professional Bohemian. Europeans and alcohol is brilliant. They just seem to be so accepting of it. And yet there is, there doesn't seem to be many assholes with it. Yeah, dude, you do not see people drunk on the street in Spain. You just don't see it. No, 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 yeah, baby. Yes. No, sweetheart, no. Bad you, you, unless you've been out in Manchester on a Saturday night, you can't say it. You can't compare. <laughs> or Bradford, even worse. <laughs> like, no. um, uh, well, to keep with tradition, if we meet, we'll have to get wankered. <laughs> if British Mackey D's let people be pissed in them, there'd be fights every evening, yeah. True story. Yeah, when you come to the UK, you'll see. <laughs> But I, I get, like, now I'm away from the UK, there's certain, like, patterns of behavior you recognize, like, the idea of going out is to get pissed. And here, the idea of going out is to hang out and talk to your friends. Like, I have friends, I had friends in, in the UK that, I swear to God, we hung out for years and I probably know less about them than I know about friends that I've had in Spain for the last two. I'm sorry. I know that sounds like a massive criticism, but look, I'm British. I'm proud of being British. I may not live there, you know what I mean? I may not want, I may not move back there, but I love Britain, you know what I mean? It's just the relationship with alcohol so much better here. So much better.
I mean, I'm cognizant that it sounds like, oh, listen to him. No, he doesn't live there anymore. It's not that at all, man. I love where I'm from. Like, for me, British music, British humor, British television, it's like the best in the world. But yeah, we have, a, we've historically had a pretty fucking terrible relationship with alcohol, man. It's, 